The Lunch Hour in Federal Way. This is the happy sound you'll hear on the AM dial from a radio station based in this office building. It offers music and a lifeline to the community. This is Radio Hanguk. Jean Su's passion project for more than 20 years. She has that soothing voice that, that really uh, makes everybody smile. A soothing voice in a language familiar to an estimated 200,000 Korean Americans from Bellingham to Olympia. Your show is called A Cup of Tea, yes. and, and so people just feel comfortable with you. Yes, yes, a lot of people. 24 hours a day, her radio stations, 1450 AM in the South Sound and 1230 in the North, offer more than music. There's news, there's legal advice, and Jean's own show, a mix of oldies, poetry, and observations. Basically, the main purpose of these shows is to educate the public about how to live here, how to conduct business in Washington, uh, and basically how to be a better citizen. Every year, Jean selects six struggling businesses and gives them free advertising. She isn't exactly earning a fortune. We are very poor. But when she walks into a Korean restaurant, she's treated like royalty. J.D. San listens to Radio Hanguk whenever she's in the car like what Korean markets are putting on sale this week. And those things are really helpful. And like knowing the other companies uh, running a business and that's Korean. Jason Han works in a restaurant where Radio Hangu plays all day in the kitchen. Having this kind of like radio stations and like broadcasting systems really help people who are new into this like community in the area. And no longer just the community made up of people with Korean heritage. Now that K-pop has become South Korea's greatest export, a new audience is tuning in both on the radio and on YouTube. Oh, this K-pop is good. So I say, oh, we put in the K-pop program. So two hours a day by the English. Then we have a lot of listeners. Not enough listeners to make Jean a wealthy woman, but she can't put a price tag on making such a difference. This is her passion. This is her way of giving back to the community. 